so we just did the randomization of the setup now let's assign the developers to their room so each developer we will have um, the developers in the recreation room this one okay so each column will represent the developers right let's add a click function to that developer um, select developer and then we will pass the dev so whenever you click the developer it will go to this function select developer we will pass the dev it's going to be a dev model now if we click the dev um you know let's manipulate it let's add some style to it to say that it is selected um to do that let's just add border to it so if you click a developer it will add border yeah that's a good thing well um maybe we can have here selected status selected boolean um what else exhausted or tired boolean maybe let's, let's see that if you select a developer we will set that selected to true okay what will happen is that let's add a, a class here the class will be selected if dev that selected meaning it will be selected the class will be selected if the, 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 the selected inside the dev is true now uh, what is this um, dev container inside the dev container let's add a class for selected it will just add um, a border two pixels solid gold let's see if it will work it did not do anything oh I forgot this okay there so we will know it's if a dev is selected if it has a gold border around it let's make that tick 5px maybe pixels yeah okay and then we will select our room and if you select a developer we will add um selected developer here which is going to be dev model um it's null at the beginning but if you select we will set that the one you selected will be the selected developer and then if you have selected developer um it will be set this value will be your developer that you selected um why not we do something like if it's already selected we will unselect it if we click it again okay so if dev is already selected that is selected we will set the dev selected to false and we will empty this okay else the option is select okay now we can select and deselect okay right very simple um next we will click a room if we click a room the developer will be in that room i think we also need to make a database for the rooms but let's see if we need that so um if i click the graphics room it will have a dev container here right? um click so on click uh assign developer it can also be activated right if you click the room it's going to be activated so here's what's going to happen we're just going to name this um activate room or room click just very simple room click we're not going to pass anything um let's say room click then oh it's better to pass which room 
is being clicked, right? So let's pass the name here, graphic. This is a very uh, quick way to do it. So let's say room name. Let's say here, if there is a selected developer, this that selected developer is not null. Um, yeah, it's not null. Meaning you have a, a, a developer clicked. Then we will assign the developer to the room. Else, it will activate the room. Else if uh, dice rolled. So let's add another one. Dice rolled. Meaning the player has already rolled the dice for this round. Dice rolled you can activate the room else do nothing okay so that's the rough uh, idea of what we want to do now let's look back at the room we want to show in the dev container uh the developer that was assigned to it so what we're gonna do we're just gonna put an image here image okay and the dev image how do we do this is let's think I'm, I'm <clears throat> well i'm thinking we have to put the the rooms in an object to be able to manipulate the uh, the properties of the room like uh what's the current number of the room or the the value uh, which uh, developer is inside that room and if there's a developer inside that room what's the new work value and yeah I guess we need to do that before we continue with with all of this but how do we do that that's the question <laughs> 